Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode in FIFA 13 and today we'll be playing my career mode now you have two options over here you can have like one single player uh, and uh, play out that player's entire career or you can you know create a career based upon the manager you can manage your team manage your tactics and all those beautiful little fun little stuff but uh, you must be very much aware about manager career so I'm just gonna pick player career because I am not you know totally into it I have not done that much of it so I'm just gonna select the league and get started so let's say you want me to play for a very big club and that big club will be my favorite club my favorite the favorite club Arsenal obviously and uh, let's keep it short and simple I don't like huge uh, matches so it's gonna be a little half length of only four minutes match difficulty with professional obviously currency let's keep it dollars uh, squads used will be default European champion competition first season uh, let's not get into that okay so now you have the option of creating your player or you can use a real player I would like to uh, you know use a real player and let's go with obviously Lucas Podolski the absolute absolutely fantastic fantastic player so we're gonna start the season with uh, Lucas Podolski and here you get you know a small little snippet of the preseason bullshit that you keep watching and I had a prior uh, career mode with uh, um, Podol no with uh, with Rozitsky. so I'm gonna call this one Podolski why the hell Yes, I would call it Arsenal Podolski. What a good name. Okay, so start simulating. As you might see, you get some objectives that you need to deliver this time around in this particular season. Uh, at least 21 goals. This is going to be a big one. And average match rating of 7.9. That is also going to be really difficult. And set up a minimum of 7 goals for the team. I would say that's a that's a lot okay so as you can see the the look and the feel of it is the same as FIFA 12 it's not changed that much the in interface I'm talking about and uh, you know that's a good thing but then uh, you keep that same you know people are used to this interface and they like it obviously it's a very popular interface everybody likes this one and uh, you keep it you continue it and uh, it, it really says something about the things that they have got right you know don't change it much because you you know what is right for you so that's a good thing but I would have loved to see a brand new interface somewhere you know making them uh, a little more I don't know user-friendly a little more intriguing somewhat it's a little messy right now okay so moving along we're gonna play our first match for Arsenal and uh, we're playing it uh, controlling Podolski or we can control the entire squad uh, you know what let's just control Podolski it's, it's so nice to say that in a sentence let's control Podolski like I really am gonna control him okay so I don't like all those drills and all those stuff and you see this really great presentation by EA EA and the FIFA franchise it's known for its beautiful presentation and they really are very good at it absolutely good at it so we got this fantastic lineup for uh, Arsenal obviously and uh, this beautiful camera angle I like this camera angle the only thing that I don't like sometimes about it is the really wavered movement that it produces sometimes that's not always the case but sometimes it's like really weird and I'm playing like a midfielder more than anything right now because yeah you see this sometimes it will create that whole intense uh, little, little animation there when it shows you running towards it. it it looks fantastic but if you look at it from a you know gamers perspective it's a little uh, I, how, would, how do I put it it's not that much of an added advantage I would say 
And that's a great pass. Oh, that could have been a fantastic little pass over there. Oh, that is, that is a goal. Fantastic goal by Lucas Podolski. Absolutely brilliant. Now, that wasn't really tough, was it? So, the pass comes in. Turn around. Quick turn around. And a superb straight shot to the right-hand corner of the goal. And that's a beautiful goal if you look at it. Look at that. Beautiful. So, even though I'm not really good at it, I scored my first goal. And that's all because of the great player. That I'm controlling and that is the advantage of using an existing player because then you don't have to you know like uh, work on 10 or, 10 or 15 different things to make him that good it's like creating a legend from NBA 2k series which is really a fantastic fantastic series I love that series because you get to play as one of the players uh, who is already established as a big guy he's a superstar oh that was a great chance and that really, you know, sums it all up. That's, that's not good uh, pacing, is it? I'm not really playing well. I'm not giving him the opportunity to give me a pass. Oh, that shit. Uh, what the hell was wrong with me? Why did I take that shot? It's more like instant, I would say. So the camera really zooms in when you are, you know, like into, into your thing. Oh, that would have been a fantastic little... Uh, fantastic little opportunity if I had uh, capitalized on that really great deft touch over there I would say fantastic so the camera as I was saying really zooms in then you have the ball then you're in the action and it really puts you on the ground uh, but as I said sometimes it's you know maybe not that great but most of the times if you're a striker I believe that's the best thing to do if you are a striker because it really puts you in the action, it adds to the entire whole, you know, being that player kind of uh, thing. It gives you that perception and it's fantastic. Okay, so let's concentrate on this game now. Enough of the bullshit that I've been dishing out for so long now. <laughs> let's just concentrate on this game. Oh, that could have been a beautiful opportunity for us. Just had, it, had to get past that defender, but he couldn't. Okay, so I'm just going to play it really safe. I'm going to play it uh, with uh, with a little space between myself and the defenders. I'm not going to be really in their face all the time. I'm going to keep a little distance and uh, so that I don't have the pressure of uh, bearing the ball all the time. And uh, I'm just going to keep a little distance so that I have some space to work with once I get the ball, if I do get the ball. So... Till this point, it's a good half. Uh, it's been relatively, relatively quiet, I would say. Not many chances, but we just got one really good chance, and we capitalized on it. The ball was like given to me in the nearly the penalty position, and uh, we scored. So that's a good thing. Okay, so this is this was a great, great opportunity for them. They should have capitalized. They should have passed it to his teammate who was right next to him. But okay, no problems the passing game of Arsenal as usual fantastic game Arsenal has you can call me a fanboy but that's what I am oh oh I thought that was for me give me the pass oh fantastic little shot over there obviously a very good save because the shot was really it was just plain oh that could have been a goal I would think so could have been a goal Oh, come on. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, that's how you score with your head. That's a fantastic little header. I mean, that was too easy. Yeah, that was a little too easy, I would say. It's getting a little, a little embarrassing for me. It's becoming too easy right now. Look at this goal. He just passes it, and I'm just standing there, and he, voila. That's a goal. It's a little embarrassing. You don't need to score with so much ease because I'm talking like shit over here and still I score two goals in the game hmm something's fishy I would say well that's a weird little pass I guess we're gonna have half time okay that's it half time and this is the advantage of being the striker you have the entire view nobody's in front of you you get that you know heroic little 
cheer and you score a goal that's the whole beauty of being a striker in a big football match with a big team it's not a big match but still it's a big team so that's that's a good pass and as you can see I'm playing a little defensive oh fantastic fantastic could have been a goal but a little tight on the angle should have uh, passed it rather than take a hit like that why the hell do I always do this so this this mode has been really um, something of a how should I put it some people really like it some people are like all you know praise about it and some people really don't get this mode because it's it's the camera it's the thing uh, I don't know what it is but uh, people don't uh, seem to like it too much and uh, some people are like they are they play this all the time and I understand why you would do that because it's really addictive if you like it it's really addictive you will be hooked onto this and you will feel as if you are part of that entire um, you know game and that's a great feeling honestly that's a great feeling so if you like it you might get addicted to any new play it all the time but then it's not necessary that you do that and uh, the best thing about this mode is the is the way it projects your player I mean look at this look at this it really adds to the dimension oh shit that could have been a great goal if I had just got the opportunity to get away from my defender oh come on oh come on that should have been a goal I think I have just raised my confidence to a such a high sky high level that I every opportunity even however minuscule it might be I just say it's gonna be a goal oh that should have been a goal <laughs> come on sub me out I'm tired look at my health it's nearly gone he's still not subbing me what he needs me to do a hat trick or something because I'm not doing it yeah I don't think so I'm gonna be able to get a hat trick today but imagine that your first match and you score a hat trick isn't that like impossible I mean there must have been great people great talents in this world but even a hat trick on your first match eh, that's a bit too much I would say look at me I'm all over the place still some good positioning might help over here we have an opportunity oh hits the bar I knew it somewhere lady luck has not been kind to me right now oh fantastic fantastic effort and a good save good save good save, good save. he's still not subbing me out I'm like nearly dead over here and uh, still not been subbed out why the hell did he take that shot it was not even close so Walcott walks off now but uh, I don't and I'm the one who's dead tired right now and 9.4 is the rating that I have right now currently because I've, I've put in a good performance a very good decent performance with two goals but uh, need to perform better that's a good pass oh, a little strong should have been a little lighter on the foot and that's could have been a great uh, little oh made a mistake over there could have been a great opportunity over there it's not going to be fun if you keep running around like this but uh, that's a great ball fantastic oh oh shit <laughs> I don't believe it I asked for that pass I asked for it and could not do it hit the hit the hit the <laughs> hit the bar again once again just imagine oh fantastic little back heel pass over there but couldn't capitalize another great save I would say very good save so this is becoming an really 
really entertaining match because good opportunities and uh, good good plays coming out of the both the teams I would say not just uh, Arsenal both the teams have had good opportunities we have had a little more than them but still and the match is nearly over and I'm nearly dead look at my energy bar it's like one fourth it's nearly dead I don't know how I'm running and that's it the match is done Lucas Podolski scores two on his first match as as Arsenal beat 2-0 and it's 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 a good game Emirates Stadium home ground and uh, get the confidence up obviously and it was a good game for me as well so that was our first game thank you for watching and we'll be filming more games and we'll be coming out with more videos and thank you for watching if you still still watched till this point and have a great time